Blake Odom joins us. He's with Alliance and Associates, Florida Blue, and we're speaking today about all the different changes that are going on with health care and health care reform. This is the guy with all the answers, especially with the changes in the new year. And with Donald Trump taking over, right? Um, what can we expect with the Affordable well, uh, Care Act, Obamacare? I, I don't think we can really uh, uh, judge exactly what's going to go, uh, you know, what's going to happen in the years to come. I can tell you that 2017 isn't really going to change. Mm -hmm. um, where you buy your health insurance, how you buy your health insurance, all of that's going to remain the same. There's just simply not enough time to change it mid-year. Uh, but I think what we'll find out in 2017 is what changes are to come. So, okay. uh, you know, hopefully by the end of this month, we have a little bit more clarity to that. Uh, but the main thing that, that people really need to, to focus on is getting coverage for, for them and their family, because that's, that's obviously why this, uh, you know, why everybody's pushing for, for new health care reform and all that uh, to, to begin with. But um, so you really want to make sure that we get in by uh, January 15th if you want a uh, uh, February 1st effective date. Um, and then your, your last chance uh, is, is January 31st. So if you don't get coverage by then, then you don't have coverage for this year um, unless there's a special enrollment. Um, what, what you're looking at on the, ta on the screen right now is the tax penalty as well. So if you don't get coverage uh, by the end of this month, uh, you are looking at a $695 uh, per adult, $347.50 per child, or 2.5% uh, of your income, whichever is higher. Um, in tax penalties. Um, so yeah, you definitely, definitely don't want to delay. You know, how did Florida rank with other states? Because I know Arizona um, has had some terrible hikes. Yes. And so yeah. many providers have dropped out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Arizona had hikes of uh, over 100%. Mm -hmm. um, but Florida Blue is, is, has definitely been the lowest across the board. And Florida Blue is really the only major carrier that's left in the state of Florida. You have a couple other uh, smaller carriers that were in the Medicaid market for many years. But uh, yeah, United, a lot, of, a lot of the bigger guys have, have kind of stepped away until some of the, uh, the laws tend to change. But as of right now, your, your main choice here in Florida is, is definitely going to be Florida Blue. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what would you say to people that may be um, experiencing anxiety in terms of, oh my gosh, if this changes and Trump has said on day one he's going to come in and, and, you know, make those changes, mm -hmm. they're going, they can't really replace it right. until they can repeal it to some parts. I mean, they have to keep some things alive, right? Yeah, they, they will. I think that we'll, we'll see um, a lot of the changes that really need to happen as far as, you know, getting the cost down. I think everybody is uh, kind of surprised that they can't, you know, keep their doctors. They can't, uh, they don't have the, the low cost plans that they were, they were promised. Uh, I think hopefully with the, with the changes that come with the, with the new, new administration, the new laws that are going to come out, hopefully they address those concerns. But right now, um, you know, getting involved with an experienced agent, um, an experienced agency, uh, you know, will allow people to, to be walked through. We'll walk them through the changes that, that come about with the new administration. And that's really the, the, the most important thing that you can do is getting with an experienced person, an experienced advocate uh, mm -hmm. that's going to be on your side to help you, um, you know, hold your hand through those changes. When you talk to people who come into your office and, you know, and answer questions, um, do you find, what do you find is, I guess, the most common question that you're hearing right now? Common question is that, uh, you know, Trump's coming in office, so this is all going away, uh, which is just, it simply just doesn't work that quickly. The government is, uh, they're, they're very slow moving, so there's a lot of uh, things that have to be put in place before anything can actually change. Well, but it's Trump. Things can happen in a tweet. That's true. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but uh, as of right now, I, I think with the insurance companies, you're not going to see any of the prices change, anything change until the, the next plan year comes around. So 2018, potentially, there could be some changes, um, and, and hopefully there is. But what people need to realize, there's still 85% of the population does qualify for assistance right now. Okay. Uh, so it just takes a quick five-minute phone call to call us. We can run you through those pre-qualification questions to see what you do qualify for. That way you have a better understanding of, 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 of what you're actually going to be paying, what those coverages are, how much your out-of-pocket expenses are going to be to go see your doctor. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's very good information. Uh, and, and like you said, it wouldn't really change until 2018 for that tax year. Right, going exactly. in, uh, Looking backwards mm -hmm. for the... Um, in terms of what your hours are, Blake? Um, we're um, 9 a.m. in the morning until 8 o'clock at night, Monday through, uh, Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we're in the office from, uh, from 9 to 5. So uh, give us a call. If we're not there, you can always leave a voicemail. Uh, but we can walk them through, you know, any carrier they want to look at, um, you know, kind of give them an idea of what the, the, the prices are in, in their specific county. 
um, and, and what options they have. And, and like I said, just to see what their out-of-pocket expenses are going to be, which I think is, is the main thing everybody's concerned with. Okay. And just on a personal note, and this would just be, you know, your guide, I would mm -hmm. think things would be better if they would get opened up and to be a more c competitive market so that you have different insurance companies that people can compete for. So that will drop the price for so many of us who struggle. Right. We, we need competition. That's what our economy is built on. Um, you got to have uh, some of the other carriers come back to keep the, uh, the carriers that are left in, in check. You know, keep those prices down and, and keep everybody competitive. So I, I hopefully, I, I, from what I'm hearing, what I, what I see is going on, I, I think that we'll see some of those changes. And, you know, they've, they've talked about opening it up across state lines and allowing everybody to compete, which I, I think is ultimately great. Whatever whatever's best for the consumer is I, I hope they, they kind of keep that in mind for everybody. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right, Blake Odom, I can't think of anything else to ask you. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you very the much. Numbers on your screen, always a pleasure. Nice to meet you. All right, it's easy. easy.